Hey, welcome to Worship Tutorials. Today we are talking about one of my, two of my favorite things actually, when it comes to guitar tone uh, delays and the Helix. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks that I like to use in the Helix to achieve a dual stereo delay and how you can make any of the stereo delays in the Helix a dual delay. You don't have to just use the dual delay. Okay, so we're here in HX Edit. Let's look really quick before we jump into this at the signal chain. So uh, you might see here is this parallel path thing. What is going on there? Very simply, I often do this sometimes to uh, basically make the, the signal path longer. So if you come to this second split, you'll see that the A level, which would be if you you know you make this a little longer here, the A level would be just what signal flows right through the top there. The A level is set to negative uh, 60 dB, essentially it's muted, and the B level is set to zero. So what that essentially does is lets the the signal comes in here, it hits this path, it goes through these delays, it comes back and it just goes out. So it's like just a longer signal path. It's not doing any parallel processing, which you can also do with this kind of thing. Another note about these delays in this video is the fact that they are all in stereo. So make sure that you listen to this video with some kind of monitoring headphones or studio monitors or something that lets you uh, both, you know, whatever the highest quality you can listen to is good, but it's important that you have a stereo field that you can listen to because these delays are going to be going in either side of the stereo field. And I'm achieving this. Uh, first thing that I'm doing to get this stereo field is after these two IRs, you can see that the signal is split hard left and right. And then every effect after this mixer block right here is a stereo effect. You can see they're all stereo effects. Um, and so all these delays are stereo. These reverbs are stereo. All the legacy reverbs, all the legacy effects, by the way, when you pull them in, retain the stereo image of the patch. Uh, so that's what we're working with. And this trick I'm gonna show you only works with the stereo delays. So the first delay that you have, that you see in this patch here is a tape delay set to quarter note. If you don't know how to set the delay to a subdivision, if you open a delay up and it has a millisecond here, if you click this little clock icon, it will set it to a subdivision. It's a quarter note delay and it sounds like this. By the way, this is a new patch that Bradford and I are working on at Worship Tutorials based on the Dr. Z Root 66 amp. Here's what it sounds like, clean-ish. Uh, middle pickup position. The next delay in this patch, I'm gonna turn this reverb off so that you can really just hear the delays. The next delay in this patch is a dotted eighth delay and it's very much the same as that quarter note delay. Uh, it has a little bit more mix. You can see the mix here is at 44% on the quarter. It was at 24%. It sounds like this. So a lot more, uh, a lot more of it in the mix, and it has longer feedback. 54% versus. 46%, so it just kind of keeps going longer. So the next delay in this uh, in this patch is the Adriatic delay. It is a favorite of ours here at Worst Tutorials. It's based off of an old boss, uh, I think a DM2, but it's been like modded by Ben Adrian of Line 6 in the digital realm to give us uh, as much time as we want on this so you can make it longer. Anyway, it sounds great and it uh, is set to be a dual delay. So I'm just going to play it for you and then I'll show you what I did to get it. There it is. You heard it. Bump, bum, bump, bump, bum, bump. Okay, so there are two parameters really that you need to focus on to get this sound. The first is the note sync. The second is the scale. Now you'll also want to, in my opinion, turn your spread up to 10. That'll get you the maximum 
type of stereo spread with these delays. If you notice this one, it was uh, one delay was hard panned left and the other, right, and the other was hard panned left. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So to get that delay, uh, you change the scale parameter. So if the scale is at 100%, it's just a quarter note delay. If your subdivision is set to quarter note and you change the scale to 75%, now you get a quarter note delay and a dotted eighth note delay. Mm, that is a beautiful thing. Uh, and you can use that to make any of these delays stereo. If you would move this to 50%, you would get quarter note and eighth note because an eighth note is 50% of a quarter note. 75% gives you again the dotted eighth and quarter because a dotted eighth note delay is 75% of a quarter note delay. Another setting that I like to use a lot in the Helix here in these delays is to set your main subdivision to dotted eighth and then set the scale to 67%. Technically you would want 66.66666 infinity percent, but you can't do that, you have to round up. That will give you a dotted eighth note delay and an eighth note delay. It sounds like this. That one I really like for uh, lead parts. So uh, my two go-to settings really are quarter note with 75% scale, that again, quarter dotted eighth, and then dotted eighth note with 67% scale. That'll give you eighth note and dotted eighth delay. Now, if you want more control over the delays, you can use the, and I suspect this is what most people do when you go for a dual stereo delay in the Helix, use the dual delay block. So here it is, you can set the left note to be whatever you want. Let's go quarter, we're gonna do the same setting, right? Quarter and dotted eighth. You can set the left to be quarter, you can set the right to be dotted eighth. You can set feedback individually, so you can set your quarter note to delay to have more feedback than your dotted eighth, or vice versa, which is actually, if you want them to sort of trail off equally, you're gonna to wanna to set quarter note less than dotted eighth note because quarter is a longer repeat, so it needs less feedback. You get the idea, right? Uh, you can set mix individually, so you can have your quarter note uh, a lot louder than your dotted eighth, or the other way around, you can have dotted eighth a lot louder than quarter, or about the same. And then the dual delay block gives us some parameters of our tone. So you can set low cut, which I would set up to maybe 160 or so. And then as it is, it's a pretty bright sounding delay. So I'll just play it for you. So you can hear those repeats are really bright. Uh, I don't like that as much. I like delays to be warmer, so have a more analog feel. So you can take this high cut and just pull it, pull it down quite a bit. Here's the high cut set at 3K. So that's going to roll all the highs off after 3K on the EQ spectrum. It sounds like this. That feels a lot better to me. You might even go lower. You can get more of a analog tape vibe out of it. Okay, as you pull highs off, the perceived volume of a delay goes down, so you might wanna compensate for that by a little bit more mix, just so it sounds loud. It's not technically louder in the mix, but it doesn't sound as loud. That's just an EQ trick. Uh, and then you can modulate this delay a little bit. So even the dual delay, if you high cut it, you know, way down there and, and got like this analog sound out of it, it still doesn't sound quite the same or as cool. Let me get my settings back on the uh, the Adriatic delay, kind of how I had them. I like to turn the headroom on the Adriatic delay all the way up. It just sounds different and uh, it may be more what you want or it, the dual delay may be what you want or you might want to use any of the other delays in the stereo delay drop down 
to get different sounds for a dual delay. It really just opens your options way up. Another thing about this uh, thing when you use these stereo delays like this, your delays are in parallel. So you might have noticed all of these delays sound sort of like pattern or rhythmic. Dun, 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 dun. If you uh, use delays, I'm just gonna use these other two delays as examples. If you want delays in series, they sound different. So what I've got now is the quarter note delay into the dotted eighth note delay, and they're gonna feed into each other. They sound like this. <laughs> Okay, so you init, you get that initial rhythm thing, dun, 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 and then it just goes, dun, 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 and it almost turns into like a reverb. That's technically what a reverb is, is a bunch of delays just meshing into one another. So that is a series delay versus a parallel delay. Again, the parallel is gonna keep that rhythmic pattern until the delay dies down. Uh, both of them are useful for different things. It's really just kind of what you like, but I like the fact that you can set these stereo delays up and they're all in parallel, especially if you use them for like the uh, the praise and worship lead type of sounds. It really helps the, the, the delays not get too muddy or mushy. It kind of retains a little bit more clarity in your tone. I hope this has been helpful for you when it comes to delays. If you didn't know this trick, now you have way more options for making dual stereo delays in your Helix patches. Uh, this thing is not uh, just a Helix thing. Other delays, for example, in the Axe Effects, when you pull up any kind of a stereo delay, you have a parameter called a left-right ratio. That's essentially what the scale is. And I'm sure there are, you know, digital delays out there, you know, pedals that, that replicate this kind of thing to create uh, stereo delays. I know like the Eventide Time Factor, and I'm sure the H9 does a similar thing. But to have this available for any of these delays in the Helix really opens the door wide for delay tones in your stereo delays. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.